Lord Prescott is still with us, and we're joined now by the Freedom of Information campaigner, Heather O'Brook. Um, there is something in this, isn't there? That people want transparent government and so on, but if everybody thinks that everything they do is somehow going to get out into public, it doesn't make government work very well. That's actually not true, because the, that would mean that in countries where they've had a Freedom of Information Act for a long time, they would not have any records. And at least from my experience, having worked as a reporter in America, I found the records that I went through there much more extensive than what I see when I make Freedom of Information requests in Britain, where they don't feel that they ever have to account to the public. So they will pass incredibly expensive and... Uh, hugely transformative policies uh, basically on the back of an envelope you know they, they don't ha they won't have um, gone through a whole sort of uh, argument that they want to show the public to say this is the reasoning process we went through this is all the cost analysis we did here's why we made this decision so that you will then accept it I can understand why for the people in government it might be an irritation to have to do freedom of information requests but it, is it really a problem does it stop government well, working I don't think Gordon uh, in this case Tony because he calls himself an nincompoop he's saying get rid of the Freedom of Information Act it's an important piece of legislation it was in our manifesto we've passed it there were difficulties there were arguments against it but it's now part of the scene and people can ask what, what Tony was actually highlighting you know if you sat in a cabinet committee or you've in fact had cabinet meetings or those sort of things if you want to have a proper discussion then frankly what's beginning to happen you might have the discussion out in the alleyway instead of it going to the papers. That's not true because nobody has ever been able to get any cabinet minutes yeah, well, I, I know, but you've been asking for them so please come on that's one of the things you want he's and pointing you out right well hang on let me just give an answer. Can I give exposed? an answer? I've been asked the question. And basically what I'm trying to say is that there are difficulties sometimes in making those discussions. Certainly when you get into cabinet committees and people have been asking for them, it's a legitimate demand whether in fact you're prepared to concede it. You must take these other things into account. But on the other side of it, I was asked a question panel the other day, was um, who was attending my lunch at the inauguration in the House of Lords? Well, it was only my family, but, but I did think why the hell should any press have an information about who had lunch for me? Well, I'll tell you now, exactly why people would want to know it. things. Like that Why? because there is a big problem with lobbying in Parliament and people have a right to know if certain companies are taking but isn't, ministers this is this or... This is my family. When the day I get inaugurated, the house, you can only have eight people. And when you so explain to them... So what's the problem them, then? To, well, I don't to... see why they should be subjected to examination by the press. Do you? I Would do, you? actually, yes, because it's, if you're inviting them as a public role, it's your no, investiture. No, not public, my personal role to invite them in this situation. I think the point is, why should they have their faces put up in the paper <laughs> and then no, examine the paper? This is just a typical argument with a politician, why, 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 why isn't it? All no, talk, no listening. But why, 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 why should Listen, they? Listen, I've no, just been listening to you. Don't but, give me all okay, that rubbish. But, but you, uh, you asked her why they should. Why, why should they? Is it because it's public money? Is it Because these are people entrusted with a great deal of power, with a great deal of money, and they should be accountable to the citizens. But in everything they do. And the only way that they can be that, I'm talking about in their public role. As far as they're spending public money and they're making decisions that affect the public, they should be accountable to the public. Christmas, paying for it. Christmas cards to Colonel Gaddafi, is it important that we know that? Well, I mean, the point about this law is there's always a case-by-case -case basis and the determining factor on every uh, case is about the public interest. Is it in the public interest? So I can make a an argument about why I should or why I would think it is or is not in the public interest but that's something that every case is, is decided on I but to make that. this speculative ar argument that we should that freedom of information is an idiotic law just because of some very made-up harm this idea of cabinet minutes being just thrown out willy-nilly into the public but it doesn't nobody, happen. Nobody has said it's an idiotic law. I started off you don't listen I started off saying it was a manifesto commitment no political party done it before Labour we but brought it in we that have this it is in a manifesto operation which and you're only it, sitting here because we the did the cabinet it. minister who so successfully tried to implement it was then sacked for his success Who's that? The minister who was charged with it. Charged with what? With implementing the Freedom it of Information Law. He wasn't for that reason at all. How, okay. What's the evidence right. for that? Right. Perhaps you'll put a Freedom of Information <laughs> question down and ask why right. he was sacked. But you make these assumptions without a justification. Okay. But, but ju just a final thought. One of the things which, which appears both there and in subsequent conversations is it's used for fishing expeditions. In other words, it's just a way of journalists getting stories, which is perfectly legitimate, but it's not <laughs> actually serious. I wish that was the case because there is no more difficult way for any journalist to get a story than by using the Freedom of Information Act. 
that is the way you get actual facts. And I would tell you that getting facts out of the British government is almost impossible. Much easier to get rumour, to get innuendo and smears. Mostly put about people like yourself because and indeed there's no the press. Facts. In the absence of okay, facts, I'm that's a, the kind I'm of journalism you get. I'm agreeable you should be asking the question. No. I'm even agreeable about the appeal. <laughs> there is an appeal on, system, but it should be used much on, more effectively than it is on at the moment. On that agreeable note, we'll leave it there. Thank you very much. Now